Hi guys, let's look at how you can come up with a taxi booking management system. So we launch our software, then we need to fix something small. So here I need to choose my form to load. So guys, I redo the, the, the bo uh, booting of the system. So my system starts with a splash form. Then it goes to the dashboard. The dashboard consists of uh, several forms. We have driver's details capture. We have customer's registration, vehicle's details, and booking form. So we start by, like for example, you can start by feeding, a, uh, that is one of these guys, like, uh, all right, just a moment. Uh, I just need to redo the system there so that you can see what happens. So the system roads. Then once the system roads, we have the following. Like now we have the following forms. Like you can start by capturing a customer and you'll notice that my form is starting on a new window. That is a code that is used so, so far. I have several customers, like you can capture one, you can capture Don Chai there uh, with certain phone numbers. Then that is a customer. Then from there, I cross that form. Then I can also capture the, the that is the vehicle details. You see there are several vehicles already captured, uh, but um, you can still capture more and also include information of maintenance, license plates here. You can also include the photo of one of the vehicles you want. Like for example, you can just go to where the vehicles are. Then you can be in a position to capture one of the photos of the various vehicles that you have. So this is the vehicle uh, capturing form. You also have other forms like now we have the driver's form then guys after doing that one this is the most important part remember our system is booking management system so this is the heartbeat you realize that uh, this system of mine is uh, producing ticket numbers automatically like for instance we have added uh, this is the uh, it is speaking to this date so let's say there is uh, somebody who will be uh, picked, picked at point A and dropped at point B. Then this guy will be uh, will be one of the customers uh, who uh, we have captured done. Then we go ahead. The system will automatically produce the ticket number for done. Then you choose the driver who will be driving a uh, done. So let's say he will be uh, driven by by. Janet Jebet, then the charges, the charges is that one. So if I just add a customer on the other side, I can be in a position to uh, to, to do that. So uh, see now my system is also pro reproducing the, the receipt numbers if I refresh. So after doing that, uh, down here we have reports, like you can click and see booking report this is the booking report you can be in a position to see it you can also see the customers report you can also be in a position to see the vehicles reports the vehicles of how you have and also the list of drivers and their phone numbers on the other hand the most important uh, part of this system is the receipt the customers booking receipt like for example the latest customer is done so you just hit on the point on done or you can even hit here but the, the best point is sitting there then you click booking receipt you see now you notice that there is don don gichai whom will be picked at point a and dropped at point b today and driver's name is janet jebet the amount of money and the person who served don from the system then also the ticket number the automatic ticket number is here you also notice that in the case i just need to see area booking like i want to see or reprint ari robert who was dropped 
and picked and dropped in the same point uh, after probably going to visit somebody and then taken back. Uh, this guy here, if I hit booking report, you'll see that the booking report has changed. It is really for the person that uh, is intended to be. So guys, in my next video, I'll be taking you through how to come up with this system. Remember the system is using Microsoft Access Database and Visual Basic for application, that is VBA. Guys, thank you very much for watching. Remember to subscribe if you have not subscribed. And also remember to share and comment on my videos. Otherwise, thank you very much.